What is up amigos? Today we're talking about how to suppress turbulence in a boundary layer. And this is really interesting because the way we're going to talk about how to do this, if you do the exact opposite, then it actually enhances the turbulence and makes the boundary layer break down much quicker. So to begin with, let's talk about a flat plate and a boundary layer forming. And if you don't know what a boundary layer is, check out this video here. So we have the free stream flow coming in at U-infinity, whatever velocity you want, and you get a boundary layer forming. Now, at some point in this flow, the boundary layer will transition to turbulence. And that is by a few different ways, but let's talk about natural transition. So natural transition is when you have some disturbances forming in the boundary layer and they can come from outside and they permeate straight in, or they can form also within the boundary layer. And these little perturbations will start to grow more and more. And the interesting thing about turbulence is that even two dimensional turbulence can break down three dimensionally and that does happen and that's why we do get a transition. So if we look at it from the top, so let's say we have this exact same flat plate here, the flow going over, we had this two dimensional turbulence and now it'll start to break down three dimensionally. And that's when we start to get a full blown turbulent boundary layer. But the interesting thing is that while it is two dimensional, we can actually control this and stop it from breaking down three dimensionally. And that is by using something called longitudinal striations or longitudinal striations, or however you want to pronounce it. So the way it looks is, let's say we're looking from the front. So we're looking down into the page and we have a flat plate coming out like this. So the front of it looks like this wavy pattern and they are extruded into the page. So these longitudinal striations go all the way along and we have peaks and troughs going all the way. So the reason why these are important is because these little troughs and these peaks, they now start to compartmentalize the flow. So you have some turbulence in this region here and it is two dimensional to begin with and it wants to become three dimensional. So it wants to break down in, in this three dimensional pattern that we saw earlier. But because we have this physical barrier, it stops it from doing that. So it makes it really stay in its own lane. So that means that we can suppress turbulence for a very long time. And this is actually something that shark skin does as well in this general kind of situation. And the interesting thing is, as I mentioned earlier, is that while having these longitudinal striations going straight in and longitudinally so that the flow is parallel to them, if you were to put them perpendicular to the flow, so we have another flat plate here. And now we actually have these striations going perpendicular to the free stream flow. This is actually now going to start acting like a boundary layer trip. So boundary layer trips are there to trip the boundary layer into turbulence by really encouraging this turbulence to occur. So literally the exact same geometry, just positioned differently to the flow, can have the exact opposite effect from severely hindering turbulent breakdown to severely encouraging it. So that is how to suppress turbulence quite easily. What this does is it can reduce the skin friction drag because the boundary layer is now going to have a much slower velocity near the wall. So the shear stress is lower there. And if you were to trip it, then it goes to a much higher shear stress and that comes with a higher skin friction drag. So that is in this video. If you'd like to make sure to like and click the subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Peace amigos.